Pants. What's up? I'm Rob. You're watching Man vs. Pin. Now, this is a very exciting episode. A ton of you have suggested this project. Uh, it took the internet by storm. Rainbow grilled cheese sandwiches. We are here at the Rainbow Cow Creamery in eastern North Carolina, uh, where they actually have rainbow cows. Uh, this is a real thing. Few people know that the original rainbow grilled cheese was actually conceptualized here on this farm. So I'm going around today. I'm checking out the cows. I'm going to see how they're milked. I'm going to see how the cheese is made. And then we're going to go home and we're going to make a delicious rainbow grilled cheese cheese sandwich. Pinometer, what do you think? Rainbow cows. Wow. Really? Yeah, duh. How else do you think rainbow grilled cheese sandwiches are made? All right, so I am actually here with Jeremiah. Jeremiah is one of the proprietors of the Rainbow Cow Creamery. You gotta tell me more about this place because this is one of the most magical, most incredible places I've ever seen. Well, it is. It is a magical place. Actually, my great grandpa started this farm a long, long time ago, and he always was obsessed with the rainbow cows. So we kind of felt like we had to keep it going in his honor and his memory. And so I guess you were what? Just randomly making a grilled cheese sandwich one day, and you posted it up on the internet, and then it just took off everything exploded. We really didn't expect anything like that. We hired some younger farm hands on and we made the uh, rainbow grilled cheese and we put it on the YouTube page and it just was a sensation, like instantly, overnight sensation. We're just super thrilled that YouTube would come down here and want to film our rainbow cows. Awesome. And so what can we do here on the farm? Actually, I, we were thinking that if you were up for it, uh, we'd have you milk a cow. I would love to milk a rainbow cow. All right, so we got our blue milk uh, straight from the teats. So now we're gonna go up to the creamery, which is just up the hill a little bit, uh, and see how all the cheese is made. I gotta stop for one second. Yep, yep. Yes, we have a sanitation issue. Yep. When you're in this room, with oh. all our cheese, we really need you to put on. Oh, okay. I have a hat. That's fine, right? That's not good enough. I don't think I've ever put one of these on before. All right, am I good? One more thing. Oh, I need a beard one, too. For your face. All right, oh, am I doing this right? Yeah, it looks sharp. I'm ready to make some cheese. All right, so now we are in the cheese making facility where all of the rainbow cheeses are made. This is a very professional cheese person doing cheese things. I don't know what that thing is. I don't even know really why they're allowing me in here, but this is cool. What's in like these little rooms here? In each one of these doors, we have a cage, and inside the cage is where we store our cheese. So now that we have the blue milk, what's the next step? What do we do? We're gonna transfer the blue milk into our clear container. And I just pour this into here. Go ahead, go meet Devin now. Wow, that is crazy. I have never seen blue milk before. All right, so we got our blue milk and then is there like one of these rooms reserved for the rainbow cheeses or what do we do? This is our rainbow cheese cave. And this is where we keep all the brand new cheeses. So I'm just gonna put it in here, let her sit. And actually you can't come in, sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, you can't come in, but I can show you a couple things that we have that I'm real excited about. That's some brand new cheese. Oh uh, yeah, we got some Gouda, we got some Pepper Jack, got your Uncle Jack. Wow, these, these are the coolest cheeses I've ever seen. Can I taste some of these? Can you sign a waiver? Are these ready to eat? They are, they've been aging for about six weeks, so. What's your favorite one out of all of these? What's your favorite? My favorite is probably the blue. The blue? Yeah, the dark blue. Nice. All right, I'm gonna try some of this blue cheese. Wow, that is good. It's salty, like really creamy though. That is amazing. All right, we're done here at the Rainbow Creamery. They have been nice enough to give us a sampling of all of the different rainbow cheeses that they make. So we're going to go home right now and we're going to make a delicious rainbow grilled cheese sandwich. Come on. All right, back at the house, I finally grated my cheeses into separate bowls and then took out my bread. I lined up the different cheeses in random rainbow order, sandwiched it up, threw some butter in a pan, and it wasn't before long that this started smelling fucking delicious. Flip it over, and that is looking like it's gonna turn out to be a fine rainbow grilled cheese sandwich. Look at that color. After a couple minutes, took it off, cut it in half, and wait for it, wait for it, here it is. Here is the fucking moment. Look at that rainbow bullshit. Success! Fucking success! Talk about farm at the fucking table! Nah, I don't wanna talk about it. Damn, that looks good. What? Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. That is delicious. Fucking rainbow cow creamery. Do those motherfuckers know what's up? Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Amazing.
fucking amazing. Well, that's all I got for you this week on Man vs. Pin. A huge thank you to the Rainbow Cow Creamery for letting us terrorize their farm for an entire day. Remember, if you've seen any other amazing Pinterest projects out there, be sure that you leave them down in the comments below. If you had a decent time watching this video and you want to see more, be sure that you hit that subscribe button. And you know, if you if you feel like it, you can hit the like button too. I know, two fucking buttons. You know, it's a big deal these days. But if you could do that, that would be awesome. Uh, and we'll see you around here next week.